This is the brake snake mounted to the rear brake pedal. The brake snake's used for two different things. One is to prevent branches and debris from getting stuck between the brake pedal and the case. The second is it for being bent outwards. The rubber that's wrapped around it, its purpose is if the brake pedal does get bent in an inward position, it'll hopefully protect the case, or in this case, the oil filter cover from getting as much damage as if it was just a sharp corner. I mounted the rubber on there by using a couple pieces of safety wire and just safety wiring them in. It's mounted inside to the skid plate. I don't know how well you could see that um, with a little mount that I made and just have a bolt right through. It's supposed to be mounted to the frame, but in the case on the 300s, we don't have any real good place to mount it to the frame where it's not gonna rub across the oil pump or the oil filter. So I just have a small bolt right there. Coming up, I'm gonna show you all the parts and pieces that I used to put the brake snake together. So these are the parts, pieces, and tools that I used to mount the brake snake. You could actually see here for with the Motion Pro pedal kit, this is the clear tube, this is the cable, and the crimps that it comes with. It actually comes with three of the different cables and three crimps for multiple applications. To mount it to the skid plate, I cut a piece of aluminum, drilled two holes. One of those holes is for the actual screw that mounts it, and the other one's going to be for the cable for the snake. How I made it is I put a little angle bend on it, so it's just gonna hold it off of the skid plate where the cable mounts. And for that, all I used is a piece of aluminum, just flat stock aluminum that I cut and drilled and painted um, that I just got at Lowe's. For the rubber piece, I had my piece that came off of my EVAP when I deleted it. And you can see right here, I used the elbow and I actually just cut it and it bent it around and then safety wired it to the brake. Here's a safety wire that I used and my safety wire pliers. The bolt for mounting is just an extra bolt that I had along with um, a nut that I found that fit. That's a nylock nut. And the other nut, <coughs> the silver one is the one that I used when I actually cut the bolt down. So it's at the perfect size. In my description, I will put the link to the Motion Pro pedal anchor kit, and uh, they're only about $8.99. I think they're something that's good to use, and it should help everyone's day by not bending their brake pedal. Thank you. Please subscribe.